Hello my loves, welcome to your Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign singles read for new love March 2020. So guys, I had a subscriber ask me today if I was still doing um, discounts for, uh, you know, whatever birthday season we were in, um, and I haven't done that in a long time. So Virgo, if you happen to be a Pisces or if you have a question about a Pisces, you get $5 off a personal reading, okay? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. I am choosing weekly winners. I give away free readings, tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, Palo Santo, Sage, Jewelry. It's a lot of fun. I announce the winners every Sunday. Make sure that notification bell is clicked so you know uh, when my readings come out and when I announce the winners, okay? If you want to book a personal reading, follow me on Instagram. If you would like to uh, check out my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, everything is in the description box below, okay? Let's get started, Virgo. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages can we bring to my single Virgos? Do we see new love coming in for my single Virgos, please? March 2020, please, Holy Spirit. What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my single Virgos, please, Spirit? My single Virgos, please, Spirit. Oh, guys, you guys are heartbroken. So Virgo, a lot of yous are coming out of some heartache. You guys are, are coming out of a breakup and I feel like you're on your way. You're on your way to healing and you're nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. So you're on your way. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to find your, your footing here. That's what's happening. You're trying to find your footing here. Aww. So I feel like you're looking for somebody here. Virgo, okay, uh, Capricorn, excuse me, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, you're still watching this person, I feel like you want a second chance here, Virgo, I'm so sorry, guys, but I feel like, you know, you're standing your ground, or this person is standing their ground, there's some blockages here, but I feel very much like you still have the X on the brain, okay, because what we have here is the Two of Swords and the Emperor, you and this person are at a stalemate, is what's happening, okay? Nobody here wants to let their guard down. No one here wants to speak. No one here wants to tame their emotions and allow healing to come in, okay? Every time you talk to this person, it leads nothing but to an argument, okay? So, you know, you're thinking that maybe, you're thinking that maybe if you take a break, then maybe this might come together. Um, yeah, I'm seeing here, there's a lot of people for you to date. You have a lot of different options, okay? But only one soulmate. You see what I'm saying? You have a lot of different options here, but there's one that stands out more than the rest. Could be a Gemini, possibly. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Leo, okay? Uh, yeah, there's only one that stands out, and that's the person from the past. And with Temperance here, you want healing with this person. There you are, Queen of Pentacles in your Divine Feminine. So guys, you know, for whoever this resonates with, um, you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. You're trying to find your footing. You're trying to get to your nine of pentacles state here. Um, I feel like, you know, you're you're going to choose to just <coughs> lock up kind of, kind of, or you're going to choose to grow up, or, you know, you're going to choose to maybe commit in the future. Um, but I'm feeling for a lot of you, 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 you know, you may have a lot of people that want to date you, but none of them compare to this soulmate, okay? None of them compare to this soulmate. And you're watching this person, or guys, this can be vice versa, this person person is watching you but I feel like this is your energy Virgo okay you have your eyes on this on this person but you guys are both very defensive you're standing your ground you're trying to move on you're trying to be single but it's just your heart is totally committed to this person your heart belongs to this person okay yeah so you know you're, you're trying to avoid rushing into a new love situation, okay? You're trying to avoid rushing into a new love situation because right now um, you're, you're kind of, you know, you're very up and down. You're still angry. You're still upset. You're still jealous. You're still a little obsessed about reconciling with this person that you were supposed to have happily ever after with, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting here, guys. I'm sorry, but you know, it's supposed to be for new love, but for whoever this is resonating with, you're, you're you're quite literally blocking out new love. You know what I'm saying? You want justice with this relationship. You want to close out this cycle. And I feel like you want this person back, um, you know, 
whether it comes together or not as of right now this is what the feeling that i'm getting for you guys you're blocking out new love you have options you have people to date you have people that want to date you but you're, you don't want to move too fast just in case there's a chance that this person comes back okay all right guys i love you guys actually let me pull some oracle for you spirit what messages do we have for my virgos deception and engagement okay so what i'm getting here virgo <laughs> what i'm getting here virgo is you're pretending to not give a shit someone here is pretending to not care okay they're pretending that this doesn't bother them but on the inside they're still very much committed to this person okay they still belong to this person so that's that i love you guys don't forget to like share comment subscribe bye